Hey y'all. Now that was a clip from Crisscross. Now if you saw the clip, that means YouTube let it go through. If not, that means I was flagged. This is the story of rap duo Crisscross. Crisscross was an American hip hop duo consisting of Chris Mac Daddy Kelly, who was born on August 11th, 1978, and Chris Daddy Mac Smith, who was born on January 10th, 1979. Criss Cross was the youngest hip hop duo to gain success with gold and platinum albums at 12 and 13 years old. The duo was discovered by Jermaine Dupri in 1991 and hit worldwide status the following year with their smash hit debut single, Jump, which topped the Billboard Hot 100 for eight weeks and certified double platinum as a single. They went on to release three studio albums with their debut album, Totally Crossed Out, topping the US Billboard 200, and their following albums, The Bomb and Young, Rich and Dangerous, making it to to the top 20. The duo were also noted for their signature fashion of style, wearing their clothes backwards. Chris Kelly passed away of a narcotic overdose on May 1st, 2013. The friendship of Atlanta, Georgia natives, James Christopher Kelly and Christopher Smith began in first grade. The duo was discovered at Greenbrier Mall in ATL in 1991 by then 19 year old Jermaine Dupri. Along with Jermaine, the two signed a deal with Rough House Records and recorded their debut album, Totally Crossed Out, in 1992, entirely produced by Jermaine. Totally Crossed Out was released on May 30, March 31, 1992. That same year sold 4 million copies in the United States. It included the hit single, Jump, which became the first rap song to top the Billboard Hot 100 for eight weeks. The music video from the album also experienced major success. The video for Jump was directed by filmmaker Rich Murray went to number one on MTV and sold over 100,000 copies as a VHS video single. The video for their follow-up single, Warm It Up, also directed by Rich Murray, won a Billboard Video Award for Best New Artist and went to number 14 the same year as Jump. According to the New York Daily News reports, with both singles being successful, was enough to propel the duo's debut album, Totally Crossed Out, to multi-platinum status. The duo garnered a spot on Michael Jackson's 1992 European Dangerous World Tour, as well as a cameo appearance on Michael Jackson's music video for 1992 single, Jam. Additionally, they made appearances in the music videos for Run DMC's Down With The King in 1993 and TLC's Hat To The Back in 1992. And they were featured in an episode of A Different World and as the closing musical act on the May 29, 1992 episode of In Living Color. A video game starring the pair titled Criss Cross Make My Video was released in 1992 on the Sega CD system. It considered other players editing together the group's music videos for a few their hit songs using portions of the original music videos, stock footage, and general video animation effects. Players were prompted before each editing session to make sure to have certain footage compiled into the video. It was ranked 18 on the Electronic Gaming Monthly's list of the 20th worst games of all time. Chris Cross made a cameo appearance in Ted Dem's film, Who's the Man, in 1993, which starred rappers Ed Lover and Dr. Dre of Yo! and TV Rap Spain. The duo was also part of the promotional campaign for Sprite in 1993, of which they recorded an exclusive rap, a promotional photo shoot, and commercial for the brand. The duo's second album, The Bomb, in 1993, was certified platinum and spawned the hits All Right featuring Supercat, I'm Real, and The Bomb featuring The Brat whom Chris Smith had discovered. Most of their songs have been directed at rivals, The Youngsters, Illegal, and Another Bad Creation, also known as ABC. Their third album, Young, Rich, and Dangerous, was released in early 1996 and was certified gold. It spawned the two hits, Tonight's Tonight and Live and Die for Hip Hop. Both members of Criss Cross went to Woodward Academy in College Park, Georgia. Chris Kelly studied mixed engineering and founded C Connection Records. Daddy Mac studied marketing and business management and founded One Life Entertainment Incorporated. Criss Cross's last performance was in their hometown at the Fox Theater for Soso Dev's 20th anniversary concert in 2013. On April 29, 2013, Chris Kelly was found unconscious in his Atlanta home and taken to the hospital. Two days later, on May 1st, he was pronounced dead around 5 p.m. on the south campus of the Atlanta Medical Center. He was 34 years old. Apparently, one day before his demise, he filmed himself rapping in his home. According to the police report documents, Chris Kelly had been brought home to recover from his narcotic abuse, as he had done several times in the past. His uncle told police that Chris had an extensive history of narcotic abuse. The following day, Jermaine tweeted a letter to his fans, in which he referred to Kelly as a son that he never had and praised Kelly as an artist. Chris Smith wrote, Chris Kelly was my best friend. He was like a brother to me. I love him and will miss him dearly. 
Our friendship began as little boys in first grade. We grew up together. It was a blessing to achieve the success, travel the world, and entertain our fans all around the world with my best friend. It is what we wanted to do and what brought happiness. I will always cherish the memories of the C Connection. Numerous other artists and fans publicly acknowledge Chris Kelly's demise, some citing Chris Cross or Kelly as their inspiration or reason for entering the music industry. On July 1st, 2013, a toxicology report was released stating that Chris Kelly passed from a narcotic overdose. According to the Fulton County Medical Examiner Office, the toxicology screening showed that Kelly had a mixture of narcotics in his system, including heroin and the white girl. Okay, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.